love it. Jeremy Sutton is an artist most known for blending multiple types of media and creating art that is truly captivating. But with digital paint, there's an incredible freedom. I love it. I flow with it. It's like a second skin for me. It's like, I just love it. So I can do so much so efficiently, so quickly, and with such diversity of color and mark and, and texture. Mel Solomon admires Sutton's work. He can just sit down and have someone sitting next to him or in front of him, and he can draw a portrait of that person in less than a half hour. And his whole interaction with the computer is always through a pen, an iPad touch and stylus, or by motion and gesture. I'm modulating pressure that I apply here. So even though you can't really see it, as I make a brush stroke, I press harder or softer, and that in turn controls things like the brush thickness, uh, the brush opacity. There are differences and parallels between working traditionally with physical media on a canvas versus working in a computer with digital paint. Obviously, the physical media, you get a bit messier, you've got more tactile sense. I love his style. I love the colors and the, the lines and how everything flows. And so I was always inspired by his work. Although Sutton has professionally been in the industry for 20 years, his admiration for art began as a child. And I started when I was about three years old. So I've essentially drawn since then. I covered my bedroom walls with drawings. Oh, it's hilarious. Sutton firmly believed his dream of being an artist would come true. I remember saying to my mom at some point, you know, pointing at something on a wall in a museum and saying, I want to be on that wall. So I had this vision when I was a little kid, I would be a famous artist one day. A curiosity would later draw Sutton into exploring a different path, studying the world of science. What I was interested in was research and, you know, understanding the universe. That's really what led me in the end to going to Oxford and doing a degree in physics. While his mind was fully devoted to understanding the universe... I loved Einstein and all that stuff. His love for art always pulled him back, but physics remained an important tool in understanding the creative process. What I'm seeing is very complex. I'm, there's a huge amount of data that is there in front of me. Training in physics is really a training in problem solving. Taking complexity and bringing it down to simplicity. That's exactly what physics is. That is what I do as an artist. Noam Eisen, Sutton's friend of 20 years, is also a physicist turned artist. Of his ability to mix uh, two general approaches, that of technology and oils, and combine those two to create some masterful works. Very, very unique, very vibrant. Wow, that is, that's, that's great. In 2011, Sutton was selected by the San Francisco General Hospital to paint one of eight large hearts to be displayed around the city. He was commissioned to do what he thought might be reflective of the city's culture and spirit. He managed to capture in that heart many of the wonderful icons of San Francisco. I thought I'm going to have a two wrap around two-sided heart. I'll have the black and white film noir on one side. And then on the other side, I'm going to have my sort of glorious tribute to San Francisco. The San Francisco heart, which Sutton named it, was viewed by over six million people at Union Square over a six-month period. And I couldn't believe it. It was the best position in the city. On top of producing cutting-edge work, he also enjoys helping people express themselves through art. My students range from professional artists, professional photographers, to people who've never ever drawn in their life. I've been doing it for a while just totally for fun, and I'm now retired. I just love to sit at a coffee shop and just start drawing things. I just, just love being creative. I think everybody can enjoy drawing. Whatever emerges from it, it's always something that can give satisfaction. Why not go for it and see what happens? Mm -hmm.